Welcome everyone to Vectrek Tech Demo. This is a kind of just a tech demo of a game I just kind of started working on just to see if I could do it. And this was suggested by a channel member named Kevin. Uh, he's a big Star Trek fan, as am I. We just kind of got chatting on the, the chat here uh, in the comments and this, this idea came up. So uh, anyway, here is kind of what I at least had in mind for this game. And I'm thinking about like an old school Star Trek game like the one found on the Commodore 64. So let's take a look here. Now I found this on YouTube and I'll try to remember to put the link in below. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play just, just a quick couple seconds of this so I don't get uh, dinged for copyright. But you can see here, we've got the Star Trek Enterprise, we've got Klingon, We've got some, I guess these are stars, and then we've got a base. And this is like some really old cool, old school 80s graphics. And so, you know, it flies around, it does things, and there's another screen where you're looking at the different, um, you know, the different quadrants, and you can scan far away. You've got power and shields. Um, you know, there's time. It's just, it's just, it's just a really cool old school. Uh, game that uh, I played, you know, ages and ages and ages ago. So this is at least kind of what I had had in mind for this this type of game. And so let me take you and show you some of the the uh, code idea I had for this. But first, I wanted to do this with something called vector graphics. Now vector graphics are basically all line drawings. Now I've already done a vector graphics demo, and I'll put the link down below as well if I remember. If I forget, let me know. And uh, basically, I'm going to take that and then turn it into a bit more of the game you just kind of you just saw. So this is my enterprise shape. So I'm basically trying to figure out the coordinates of you know the basic outline of this shape. Um, then I made a Klingon bird of prey here, and you know just kind of that's roughly the shape. So yeah, so let's go ahead and I'll show you what I kind of have so far. And uh, first, I just want to say, this is the original vector graphics demo that I did in a previous video about six months ago. So let's take a look and run this. And what I've got on the screen is a bunch of enterprises. And again, as I mentioned, they're vector graphics, so they're all lines. So the program is actually drawing each line every frame. So each of these little things, there's a scale function I created. And if you watch the other video, I explain it a little bit better than uh, what I'm gonna do here. This is just kind of a demo. And uh, yeah, so this is what I started with. And then what I've been working on is I took that code and I adapted it. And I have at least done my best to make at least the start of a game. So before I do that, just a quick shout out to my 16-bit members, uh, Kevin, who I just mentioned, Paul and Jan, thank you so much for directly supporting the channel, uh, and I do definitely appreciate it. And if you'd like to join, click the join button down below. So let me go ahead and run that. And you can see here, I've got my Starship Enterprise, I've got three Klingon Birds of Prey, and I've got like an automatic phaser thing going. Now it doesn't uh, actually do any damage, I haven't programmed that part yet, but it randomly shoots at the nearest uh, enemy. Now, like I guess it doesn't destroy them. Now I can move my ship around using one of the arrow keys. And I do have a photon torpedo I can fire. And you see how it's really slow. <laughs> but uh, once it goes off the screen, then I can fire again. And if I do hit one of the, the enemies, oops, wow, it runs. Real, I got to speed that up. Um, so let me, let me hit one of the enemies and show you what happens. It just show you the, how the collisions work. Let's sit here and do that. Yeah, the game's running slower because I have OBS Studio recording the screen. Okay, so I just shot the enemy. And, and you can see, that's what I have so far. You notice, again, the vector graphics, it's just drawing lines. And so I have a rotation function in there using some mathematical tricks, I guess you'd say. So it's pretty straightforward. I've got a vector shape class. And uh, I have some code here to determine the width. And I'm gonna, and the height, I'm gonna fix that later. And we got a rendering function. This is where all the mathematical kind of magic happens. And then I do have something called an AABB collision. So check out my collision detection video where I talk a little bit more about that. Um, I measure the distance between some of them for certain purposes. I've got a starship class, which is a child of that vector shape. I've got a photon torpedo class. I've got an enemy class. And, yeah, just, and here's the shapes that, as I mentioned, came from 
measuring these lines and these these numbers here. But uh, you know, this isn't really a tutorial. It's just uh, I just want to kind of show you what I was doing and where I was going with this. I, again, Kevin brought this up, and I just been really thinking about it a lot. And I just want to play around with it and see you know what I could get done. Uh, you know, just with you know an hour. Or, know, this took me about an hour or so, maybe two hours altogether. Just to do a little bit of coding but you know a lot of this is is tricks that i've shown you in other videos and uh, you know i'm using the the turtle module for rendering and uh, you can see here a turtle pen but other than that everything else is just kind of straightforward uh, basic python coding um, you can see there's some math involved and uh, just some a lot of numbers but nothing too 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 complex so yeah, so that's the demo. I will put a link down below to GitHub where you can download this and play around with it. And hopefully, you know, just kind of enjoy uh, kind of the old school Star Trek fill. And, you know, I don't know, you know, if or when I'll get to, you know, make a full game out of this, but it's just something I wanted to show you and to, uh, you know, also for Kevin, because Kevin was really into this, I think. Uh, I hope he comments below. And I definitely was very much into it, and I wanted to uh, just see what I could do with this. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I know it's a short one, but uh, have a great day, and keep on coding. Thanks so much.